welcome to the park. This is where we will meet you when you get here. This is our entrance and so these Sam will be here to greet you. So I'm Tana and I'll be um, one of your leaders on your trip. Hey people, so we're standing here in the spawning ground of our game called Close Encounters of the Salmon Kind and we are just hoping when we have you out at the field trip we can get started right away. So these are the game directions, be ready. So in the spawning ground, the group that will be acting as salmon will start as eggs. They will then be alvin, fry, par, smolt, and there will be a big group of you. This game is designed for up to 60 people to play at the same time and it works really well. And that the first round of the smolt taking off out into the stream, an adult will be here saying, you can go, you can go, you can go. And then you will attempt to make it through the course. If you are tagged, you are never out. You just come back and start over again and you do the whole thing, fast motion and get back into the game. We will um, have a special sound that will let you know when it's time to switch. We have three groups all together. One group will be releasing salmon. One will be acting as the salmon running through the game and one will be acting as predators. You'll have a chance to do all of the things so don't worry. And yeah, so we'll just go ahead and start drifting through the, the course as a salmon. So here I am. And you can go. Oh, thank you. Here at the beginning of what is called the Embarking River, our first obstacle are bigger fish. And if you notice my friend Lisa here, she is holding the fish on the top so we have lots of different stuffies and they are all puppets except for the big fish. So we ask you to just hold the fish on the top and you're gently tagging. We're always tagging below the shoulder and super gentle every time. Notice that her feet are both on the color spot and all of our different obstacles and predators that you have an option to play in the game, you will be having both feet on those spots and tagging really gently, um, reaching out as Lisa is doing there. So we're here at the hydro turbine. A hydro turbine is located inside of a hydroelectric dam and the turbines actually create electricity. And here in Eugene and actually in Oregon, we have a super clean energy source called hydroelectricity. And the thing about salmon is they're affected by the dam sometimes and the um, hydro turbines. Just so you understand too, typically there is a fish ladder right next to the turbine, but for the purposes of our game, we have it on the other side of the river. <laughs> so our next uh, predators are sea lions. Sea lions are often near the estuary and the ocean, and we're heading on our way to the ocean. We're still in our embarking river. And so again, both feet on the color spots, Hold the puppets like a puppet for their hands are inside and you're gently tagging, again, below the shoulders. All right, here I'm right in front of these rainbow cones with this circle of arrows and this is the area that's called the estuary. In the estuary, for the purposes of our game, it is a safe zone and you can be in the estuary for a count of five and then you need to keep moving into the ocean. The estuary would be a hot spot for salmon to be eaten by a lot of different predators, but again, for the purposes of our game, you might need a breath at this point. And then the estuary is leading us into the Pacific Ocean. We're here in the Pacific Ocean now, and I have my garbage patch here that's ready to tag me. And in our oceans across the planet, we have seven different garbage patches, um, all collecting in the gyres around in our oceans. So it's something to be aware of. It definitely affects the ecosystem in the ocean and our salmon. Heading along in the Pacific Ocean, we have our orcas. They are puppets, and so hands are in the puppets, double feet on the color spots. And as we're heading in the ocean, this is a longer part of their journey. Remember that Chinook salmon are in the ocean for three to five years. So you can run through this one time, but if you want to be super spunky, you could go back and forth three to five times and then keep going. I'm still in the Pacific Ocean and our next obstacle is gill netters. 
Gill netting is a pretty extreme fishing technique that catches a lot of fish by catching them by their gills as they swim through the netting. In this one, it's a partner portion of this game and you're just gently swinging it back and forth and then you're just trying to time it kind of like the turbine and getting by. And then we're going to be on to the end of the Pacific Ocean heading into another portion of the estuary where you can stay for the count of five again before you head to the returning river area. All right, so I'm in this uh, portion of the estuary. Remember, it's a count of five in this area. And then you're heading into what is called our fish ladder. Again, usually it would be next to the dam, but for our game, we have it over here. And if you'll notice Nancy, Joe, and Lisa going through and acting as fish as they're going through the fish ladder, you do need to go through each of the rungs. Don't run along the side or you are out and you have to start over again. So right at the end of our fish ladder, we have a couple of black bear and um, they are so hungry and they often do wait near human made structures or waterfalls to catch salmon. And so two black bear in our game as predators. We're heading along next to our anglers. And so anglers are otherwise known as fisher people and we have pool noodles for this. And so, um, check out our models over here you are pretending to cast your fishing rod and then once you are do that you can gently just be reaching out to tag people as they're going through journeying again in the returning part of our river we have our river otters here a couple of those ready to tag you Notice both their feet are on the color spots and they are holding our, them as puppets. Aw, they're so cute. We have two bald eagles. Bald eagles can really be a predator at almost at any portion of the journey, except for way out in the ocean. They're not usually way out there, but they will be at the beach in Oregon or along our riverways. They generally are eating adult salmon or larger salmon, not our little fry. I'm having them, again, show how to put their hands into the puppet. These puppets are named Emilia and Everett and Everett here, he was our first uh, puppet to join and then we added Emilia later in the game, but Everett was swung around by his wing and his wing tore off and so I had to give him a little surgery. He's going to be okay but we really want to be gentle with all of our puppets so that we can have them for years to come for other kids to enjoy this game. We have three different helpers in the game. One is a stormwater cleanup crew, one is a beach cleanup crew, one is a river cleanup crew. There are these little pieces of cloth there and with this particular role, you can actually untag people and you do not have to stay on a color spot, but you have to stay in the portion of the river that this, this is set up in. And so if someone is coming through, the eagle, for instance, just tag them, you could run up to them and untag them and they can keep going in the game. And so we have a few helpers um, because we need all the helpers on the planet we can get. Our final obstacle in our game is a waterfall and there won't be anyone here to tag you except for the rocks that are in the waterfall. And so your job is to jump and go through here without stepping on the rocks and if you do step on the rocks you have to put yourself out and you even though you made it almost to the end of the game you have to start over again as an egg so just be aware of that and we're yeah right after the waterfall we're back at the swanning ground again if you make it this far and you make it to the swanning ground you get there you do dramatic death and then you start over again and then you'll just go until the time is up oh no oh oh no she got me all right i want to model what happens when you get tagged and how you make it back to the spawning ground so i've just been tagged by the eagle i'm gonna actually be like oh okay and i will run over I'm back in the spawning ground and I'm going to go ahead and go back through the process and then I can keep going in the game again. Then 
you start over again. And then you'll just go until the time is up and um, we'll do the three rotations. Uh, just so you understand how the rotations will work, there will be a group starting with salmon release, salmon in the game, obstacles and predators in the game. People that are releasing salmon will, right after that part of the station, they will come over with their adults to the spawning ground to act as salmon and wait for the salmon that were in the game to then become predators. Predators meet me over by the table to release salmon. And so that's the flow of our stations. This is the salmon release station. You'll see my team back here filling up the cups and that's what we do right before you get here. And in my cup, I have my little Chinook salmon. And so I'm gonna actually be starting to whisper sweet words like, hi, Bob, you look so good today. You're gonna be so strong. I hope you make it all the way to the ocean and back. I love you. And then you can take a look at your salmon a little bit longer. You're gonna carry it with two hands down the bank over here. space along the bank. You're going to get really close to the water. And you're going to be careful next to this because it does get a little bit muddy and so you can do it. It's fine. You just have to be careful. I'm going to get really low down to the water. And then this is the important part. If you notice my cup, I am going to actually let my cup touch the water, but it's not going all the way through the water. If I go all the way through the water, on the bottom is a lot of silt or otherwise known as dirt. And that will actually make the silt come up into the water and that makes it hard for our salmon to breathe. So we just wanna touch the surface of the water, tilt our cup so that the creek water and the cup water are mixing. And then your salmon will probably just swim right out. If for some reason your salmon doesn't swim right out, you can tip the cup a little bit more and your salmon will slide into the water. The main thing to remember is we don't wanna tap the cup. That would be like yelling in your best friend's ear. That would be terrible. And remember our salmon have a lateral line so they can feel, hear that, and that is really loud for them. So yeah, once you have released your salmon, you're just gonna go ahead and obviously stand up, and then I will collect cups from you at the end. So that's how you release your salmon. We can't wait to see you.